Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna use the X tool to diagnose my um, uh, P0442. Um, in the past, I made a video, and I'll link that um, somewhere in the video here or below. Um, I made a video thinking that I fixed my P0442 because actually my purge uh, valve did not hold a vacuum. So apparently that's not a cause of the P0442. So either way, that part was changed out. That part was faulty. You can see that video again. I'll link it somewhere in the description. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in and I'm going to um, do a pull of vacuum, do a purge seal and pull of vacuum and see if I see any decay in the vacuum. And if I see a decay, first of all, I want to confirm do I actually have a real leak or is it a sensor or anything? And then I'm gonna go from there actually because I made another video and I also linked down here too where I got a um, small smoke machine. All right, wait a minute, let me see what we got here. What do I gotta cut the car, sorry. I thought I had my car on here. Let's see it's here, all right. There we go. All right, let me cut this off here. All right, so it's communicating now. Um, but anyway, that was a story. I thought I had fixed my P0442. Um, I did not because of the faulty purge um, solenoid. Um, that, purge, that faulty purge solenoid did exist, but apparently there is a real very tiny leak in this system here somewhere. So we're just going to go through system selection. Um, I think it's inside of here. Go here. Front wheel drive. And um, I think it's going to be in actuation test. Yes. You have system. Yes. And we're going to go do a. Uh, first of all, hold on. Let's go back. Let's do the uh, vent, vent, vent solenoid valve. So when you do this, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you hear those valves click on and off. You should hear a click or some sort of audible sound. So we're going to go ahead and hit uh, not venting. Yeah, you might can't hear that, but I can hear it. It's like a little thud. All right, so that means that that's working. Hold on, let me do it at least one more time. Do it twice. Yeah, okay, I heard it. Okay. Now, one I can't remember do the purge solenoid valve. Let's do the purge solenoid and see what happens if we do. Yeah, I heard something here. Yeah, so it's working. So anyway, I just wanted to just say... At least if you turn those on, you can say, hey, at least they work. You don't really know if they're effectively working or anything just yet. But anyway, that's at least I think a good practice, at least from the videos I watch and some of the very good, uh, um, you know, automotive channels that I watch. All right. So um, I go to purge seal. First of all, you, now we need to cut the cone because first of all, I wanted to leave the car off and verify that the actual um, purge, I mean, the actual vent solenoid valve would actually actuate oh let me go ahead and cut this on here oh there we go so the car is on oh, let me just back up make sure i got that set right e evap purge seal all right so now as you can see this is what you're going to see when you come here but if you have this scan tool you're going to want to go to uh view data stream because again you can actually um set the the, the the seal from there but you want to go into the system where you can see the actual data you want what we want to see is the voltage and we want to see the um pressure so well, first of all we're going to scroll this back over here at the bottom we're going to go to not venting see so see venting right here change the not venting because you want to seal the system off and then we're just going to hit 10 percent you don't even need it. You don't even really need to even go higher than that. Pro probably at least at least this is what I'm going to do here. All right. So we look at and also if you do this, you got to make sure you do it with your fuel tank between 15 and 85 uh, percent full of gas. I got that from Mitchell one. Um, I got that information from there. Actually, uh, while this is running, I'll tell you this Mitchell one is actually pretty good uh, DIY, just like uh, all data DIY is pretty good, too. I like I like the way that they have like the little um, the little uh, 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 workflow to kind of give you some ideas on how to troubleshoot things. So anyway, they, um, I, I wish I'd have brought it with me out here, but I'll throw it up in the video somewhere. And just give you a snapshot of it again. I don't want to show because it's probably copyrighted, but at least I'll give you a quick snapshot of some piece of it. Um, 
So what we're looking at here, at least that's what I'm looking at, is going to be the fuel pressure sensor voltage and the inches of water. You can also take a look at, let's see what else here. There's other stuff you can look at like the, let me see, is there anything else I, that I can remember? Because I remember I watched some videos on this. I'm trying to see. I think there was the two main ones that I saw a lot of people pick. But um, anyway, what would really, really, we're just trying to see if, a, a vac if, if, if there's a decay in the vacuum right here, number 12. Once this peaks out, we're going to let it sit and see does the number start slowly creeping down. If it starts to slowly creep down, at least I think, again, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more research after I collect this data here. And then I'm going to do a smoke test. Right, so steadily going up, so it's taking a, 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 a um, it is pulling a vacuum, we can say. So one thing we can say at this point is that the leak might be very, if there is a leak, it's very small because right now the vacuum that is pulling must be overcoming the leak because the leak is so small. But that doesn't mean the leak is not there. So once it get to that 10% vacuum, then we will see if there is a decay at all. So, so far, um, let's see here, it's going up, still going up. So again, I'm, I'm assuming what's happening is that it's pulling the vacuum re relatively slow, which makes sense. It's not just want to just suck everything right out. Okay, still going. Okay, uh oh, we had a little flip back and forth there. But that don't mean anything to shit. Let's just wait and see what happens. Because we got to actually see a decay where it's actually going to consistently go down. That's what a decay is. Because again, you could have some. I don't know if anybody's scientific and inclined with instrumentation and things. Like sometimes you can have a little fluctuation because of just the variability in the um, actual measurements. So looks like we're about peaked out here. So let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, it is, it did stay at negative 713. Okay, look, it appears like we're getting a little bit of decay now. Again, if you look at line number 12, fuel pressure sensor, inches of water. Okay, I'm convinced now that we have decay. And I'm convinced that there is a very small leak because this thing is dropping it like uh, a hundredths of inches of mercury at the time. But wait, let's just see. Yeah, still going on. That was only two one hundredths. So I'm gonna just let it get down. If it go down, yeah, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, let me just. I'm gonna let it go down. If it goes down to say six eighty or six ninety, I'll say. Okay, we got a little variation in the measurements here. Was fluctuating between six eight and six nine. Let's see what happens here. Maybe the vacuum is still pulling, but it's pulling so slow now that it barely can overcome the uh, vacuum leak, which is okay. We still see more decay here. All right, so I'm going to say that if it gets down to 6.8, I'm for surely going to say because it was at 7.13 at the peak, I believe. And if it gets down to 6.8, right now I'm kind of convinced that, it, that there is a bona fide leak because, again, you want to do this to make sure that there's no faults in the actual fuel tank pressure sensor and you want to make sure that there is no fault in um the uh maybe the vent solenoid somehow so look like that is going down uh, I get to get a 6.8. I'm going to believe you. All right. So now I'm convinced. I'm fully convinced now. Again, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm not a, a auto mechanic. I'm a DIY person. And based on what I have read and the videos I have watched it, I believe that there is a bona fide leak in this system. So next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and exit this and cut that off. Stop that. And um, next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my smoke machine. And that'll be in the second part of this video. Let me go ahead.